Hey everyone, how you doing? Welcome back to our channel. So if you haven't seen us before, I'm Julia. And I'm Gary. And we're travelling the US and Canada for a year. And we're going full time in our motorhome so you can follow our journey. So without further ado, let's have a look where we've gone so far from the beginning of our journey. Look at this map. believe how far we've come have we it's a long way and a lot of places i know have you got any favorites um yeah has to be my birthday going to graceland oh gosh that was amazing if you haven't seen the graceland video though i'll pop the link in below because that was a fun time as well wow. there's loads of videos loads of things if you're new to this channel anyway one of the things we love doing is booking harvest hosts don't we babes we do so we booked this one harvest host at a yak farm and we woke up. We were actually rudely awakened, weren't we? The van was shaking like mad. And it and wasn't us. No, it was not us. Thank you very much. First thing in the morning. Uh, but we opened our windows and this was the sight that we saw. Uh, yeah, yaks right outside. We were like prisoners, weren't we? And they're big. <laughs> they're cute. We were like, oh, gosh, we don't leave the van. Anyway, the farmer had promised to give us a, a little tour, hadn't he? Yeah, yeah. So this is our tour of the Yak Farm. So we're in an ATV and we're with the farmer who's called Carl and we're going to go and have a look at some yaks. It's quite noisy back here but hopefully you can hear us all right and we'll show you what we're going to see. It's absolutely gorgeous around here. How many um, acres do you have Carl? Uh, just right at 2,000. 2,000 acres? Wow. Oh my goodness. we got a pal in the back haven't we? Hello. <laughs> By the edge in it Carl. This... <laughs> um... Woo, I'm right on the edge. Oh, it's very close to that edge, Carl. I'm just letting you know that... Uh... Oh, we... I've got you, babe. So if we go over, we'll go over together. Well, that's great, darling. But I was hoping to live a few more years. Two weeks old, that one. Wow, it's tiny. And these are probably two months old, maybe. <laughs> maybe three. I love the colouring of those white and brown ones. Okay, yeah. stupid question time. Is it only the males that have the horns? No, both of them have horns. So Do they? Yeah, so these are all, all this group right here is females. If they've got a tag in the left ear, then they're female. If it's in the oh. right, it's a male. Oh, he's got a face on him, that one. It's a bull. It's like yeah, the right ear. Yeah, right ear. So oh my gosh. Probably a steer, that one. We've been, we so what's the most, difference between a steer and a bull? Uh, basically, you take the testicles off. Yeah, okay. band them and get, yeah. uh, when they're young. So that they're a lot less aggressive and not trying to breed. So we've got about four bulls in here. Gosh. I'm gonna let Sage out just for a minute. Oh, I, I don't want to be let out though. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stay in. I know. I know bulls are massive. They're they? very huge. Oh my gosh, look at the dog out. Oh <laughs> my life. Get him, Sage. Get him. Get him. So Sage is out to to um, yeah. do his worst. Bit around. Oh gosh. So they're us. giving as good as they get there. Oh, they are. They were outside our van first thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's quite so close. Number 179 wow. is, a, is a bull or a steer, and the others are all female. <laughs> I wouldn't be out clapping and doing all that. <laughs> Oh, well done, Sage. I wouldn't have been doing that. <laughs> so, how many yaks have you got? Uh, about 200. About right. 200, wow. Yep. Let's open the window out. to take pictures, and it's making me very nervous. <laughs> Gosh, oh. Oh, look at him looking for his mum. Oh. So, where is his mum? Yeah, she's she's over, over there. there. Okay. Yeah, they're all going down over to the water. I mean, they're quite magnificent, aren't they? <laughs> Whose is that baby then that she's pushing away? Is that somebody? Somebody. There's somebody her mother will be behind, behind us. Yeah. Yeah. But whenever that baby goes near this mother calf, she yeah. she basically gives it a nudge, get away, yeah. doesn't she? Yeah. Baby's 
play it. But what will the mum? Yeah, the mum will just, if one comes up that's not hers, she'll turn around and get it. Oh, I'm sort of willing that baby to go away. He doesn't get horned. He doesn't like that one, yeah, back there. He's just having a little drink. Bless him. They can jump, they can jump over uh, those corrals. What, a yak pen? Oh yeah, those corrals that you're next to yeah. are 56 inches high. And I've had uh, the steers jump right out. Oh. oh, I wonder if that's where the cow jumped over the moon came from. <laughs> that's, that's the yak jumped over the moon. This is so beautiful. And this is the road up to your house. Wow. Wow. When did you buy this place? Uh, 2018, but there was no oh. road. There was nothing here. It was oh. just it was just ranch land. So we built the road in. Wow. Uh, built our house, built all the corrals, the fencing. Wow. We've done just over a mile, 1.4 miles to the house. You built this. This is incredible. We did, yeah. Oh, it's I beautiful. I mean, I had other, you know, I had a lot of uh, people helping on it. <gasps> oh, I love that balcony. Gary, are you taking notes again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Carl, it's magnificent. Notes. It really turned out nice. It's, uh, yeah, it's lovely. I like the color. Uh, timber frame. Yeah. Um, all of the big windows. Yeah. Well, the two levels with the loft. And then we're all on photovoltaic, so we're completely off grid. No power up here. Rattlesnakes. So when I'm climbing around these rocks, I'm careful not to put my hand or foot in something I can't see. Oh, God. Um, I've, yeah, there's rattlesnakes. Bull snakes, they're great. I encourage the bull snakes because they keep the rodents down. Um, a lot of deer, both white tail, mule deer, elk. We have elk on here, bobcats, coyotes, mountain lions, uh, turkeys. Um, the only thing we don't have is black bear, but they're north of us about six miles. There are black bear up in the Bear Lodge Mountains. Okay. And they're, my neighbor has said here recently, he's a rancher, said he saw a wolf. So oh. that's kind of unusual for this, this far over in this area, but he said he... You know, he's a good rancher. He would know it. He said it was definitely a wolf. So we do have all that. So this is down this valley is our property. And you see that house on that ridge over there? Yeah. Our property yeah. runs up to that ridge. So he built right on the fence line there of where our property is. And it Go runs ahead. all this valley down through here. And then, you know, we're at the south kind of center part of it. So we'll work our way back up and over around there. It's enormous. It's a gorgeous rock there. I wouldn't. I don't really want to walk anywhere because if there's a rattlesnake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, oh. I'm pretty cautious. <laughs> oh, do you ever think about keeping peacocks? Because I understand that they're quite good at keeping we've rattlers a, down. We've got a rancher neighbor that was going to give us a couple, and yeah. I've never gone back to her. But yeah, the only thing being is the coyotes around here. You know, they don't hesitate to slip in and try to get a feathered friend for dinner so uh, yeah they, they may come around so i haven't done any peacocks okay. nearly had a right old heart attack then a grasshopper jumped in here right on right by my foot then do you think it's yeah i wish i had the camera filming right here dang i've got my phone i better get it out <laughs> Oh, no, it was only a grasshopper, but it, I didn't know what it was, and it landed on my leg. Oh. He was looking for a free ride somewhere. <laughs> Trust it to land on me. Oh, that gosh. Was good. I saw it. Screamed all the way over Wyoming. Way over Wyoming. <laughs> <laughs> this is the road where they keep, oh, keep like going everywhere, don't they? We've got the front open. This is our oh. lower field that we hay. You hay this one, do you? Yeah. yeah. Great. Oh gosh. I know they don't hurt those um well I don't know if grasshoppers do hurt. But... No, they don't. Ah! <laughs> 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 this is what I have to put up with my <laughs> Gary Dixus is so funny, but you've moved like lightning. I haven't oh up on Gary's lap in about I barely got turned for you on his lap. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Christ. We've come all the way around and the house is right over that ridge there. This is all their land. Can you even imagine it? So thanks to Carl for taking us around his yak farm. So then we went off to Yellowstone and we went through a town called Cody. And just beyond Cody is the most amazing dam. Oh, check this through the tunnels to go to the Buffalo Bill Dam. 
it's absolutely fabulous. These tunnels just straight through these magnificent rocks. Buffalo Bill Dam, historic place, visitor centre on the left, three quarters of a mile. So it's really not that far. Look at this tunnel, this must have taken some building. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? It's, isn't it? it's quite, it's quite rustic, isn't it? It's not smoothed down, like no, you see not. some. It's just in parts. Dynamite. It's not a tunneling machine. Oh, wow, we've just parked up. And it's absolutely breathtaking, isn't it, babe? Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, we can't believe how gorgeous it is around here. Everywhere you turn, it's just magnificent. And the water's a really unusual colour, isn't it, babe? It is, yeah. Oh, gosh, look at this. Ah, oh, it's magnificent, isn't it, babe? There she is. Our lovely motor home. Need to take a minute to take it all in. Hey, so we've just been picked up on the Mister Shuttle, and what's your name? Yeah. Pat. Pat, thanks very much for picking us up. Yep. You literally, we're just at the little visitors' park up, and it's going to take us down to the dam. How far is it then? Is it quite far? That's about 700 miles. Oh, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> and how long have you been working here? Uh, let's see. This will be my fourth view. Oh, I bet you love it, don't you? I do. It's I a do. real fun atmosphere, I bet, yeah. down here. I like isn't meeting it? a lot of people, you know, from other countries. Yeah. I've met people from Israel today and Did people you? from Switzerland. Wow, and now you've met from some England. I'm here. So now you can have today the second England. ones. Yep. Oh, no. Yep. They've stole our first spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I didn't think we were going to get through that. That looked really tight, actually. Was that deliberate to give us a bit of a fright? Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just a golf cart ride. Oh, it's such a thrill, though. <laughs> Thanks ever so much. We really yeah. appreciate yeah. you. Well, make sure you walk out on top of the dam. Mm -hmm. Oh, we we're will. We're letting the water out today. Oh, are you? Yeah. What time yeah. are you letting it out? That's all that's coming oh, it's all out, out now. now. All right, perfect. We will. Thank you very much. Yep. Have Hang a lovely on. day. I wasn't really expecting this, but look at how magnificent this dam is. Wow. There's some stairs there, so obviously they can get down to, uh, to help or rescue or do jobs. are immaculate, there's free Wi-Fi, they've got loads of different sort of free leaflets and books and maps you can pick up. It's a gorgeous little shop and there's a video playing so you can find out what's going on. Honestly, if you're passing this way, don't miss this little stop. It's brilliant. We've loved this. It's gorgeous, isn't it, honey? I wonder how they get rid of all this wood that's floating to the top. Part of the, part of the sign over there said they were talking about uh, sort of like a wood gate. Right. So I guess they must collect it some, somehow and, and get rid of it, otherwise it would build up too much. We should ask the lady. How do you get rid of the wood? Okay, during the pandemic they didn't do it, but supposedly once a year hmm. they take it out. They have a crane that comes from Casper in Wyoming, and they have that yellow grapple that's out hmm. in the parking lot. And they have dump trucks, and they grapple it out, put it on dump trucks, take it to the other end of the reservoir, and 
dump it, let it dry, and people can pick it up then for firewood or furniture or That's artwork brilliant. or anything they want. Yeah, but it hasn't happened for about two years at least. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to do it this year. Perfect. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs>